Okay. Uh, looks like everything is working here. Um, looks like everything is working. We're recording. All right, guys. I don't do a lot of recordings, <coughs> um, but I'm going to do a recording today. Test this out. I'm on a 4K monitor, um, running a RTX 3090, 24 gigabytes of VRAM. CPU is an i9 10850K, overclocked to 5 gigahertz. My RAM is G Skill rips off 4000 megahertz overclocked. And I'm running three monitors of uh, 4K. And I'm recording this in 4K. Um, we're going to test out a new feature called Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 um, Auto FPS. I'll bring it up on the screen. Uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator Auto FPS 0 0.4 Connection Status Sim Connect Session Sim Values General Expert Options it's a really simple software. You install it, you run it, where you set your parameters, and then you run the application with FPUIC or with Microsoft Flight Simulator. Um, <clears throat> you can set your settings here. Target FPS, I just put 60. And um, I enabled expert options. Uh, I left I left this default unchecked pause when Microsoft Flight Simulator loses focus, which means if you have multiple mo uh, monitors and you go outside the bounds of Microsoft Flight Simulator, it will pause. I don't want that to happen. <clears throat> so I just simply uh, uncheck that. This is the first time I'm running this. I haven't done a trial test. I've loaded this in and my target is 60 FPS granted. My it's automatically set my clouds to low and my sim values here priority TLOD is minimum I don't know what that really means I should probably change that to FPS but anyway I don't know how to do that I'm just trying this out now you guys have to remember I'm recording this in 4k I'm running Microsoft Flight Simulator in 4k so I'm not going to get the best performance Expect these values to double, even triple, when I'm not recording this in 4K. So this is what it looks like if you're streaming or recording in 4K. Expect these values and everything else to be a lot better uh, when I'm not recording. Granted, I'm flying at JFK with the any builds. Um, um, scenery for JFK and I got the scenery for downtown New York so it's putting a lot of pressure on my system so here we go enough of that we're gonna move this off the screen and we're gonna get right to it all right so here we go now my biggest thing was having stutters when I pan really slowly, I'd get stutters. And flying an F-35, you get a lot of stutters, or at least I did, because when you're flying at a really fast rate, Microsoft has to load all of those textures in. When you're flying Mach 1, it has to load those textures in. Boom, 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 boom. And that creates stutters and my target FPS is 60 so it's automatically set my clouds to super low and my TLOD is set to the minimum which is 50 and I'm getting 66 FPS now let's do a fast pan and see if I get any stutters so far I'm not getting any stutters and I'm still holding 67 FPS. 
All right. Now let's go in the cockpit, look around here. And I do have frame generation on and I have DLSS ultra quality settings set. Okay, looks good so far. Let's go to the outside here and take off. All right, parking brake released. Here we go. Okay, afterburners on. All right, we're up. All right, <laughs> the ground textures. So as you can see, if we look over here. All right, now priority is FPS. So it's automatically doing its thing. The software is automatically doing its thing. So here we are. Let's go ahead. 65 FPS. All right, we want more detail, you know, we're at 7,000 AGL. And as you can see, there's a discernible difference, okay, from, <clears throat> you can see the textures popping in. That's not my biggest thing. I don't really like the textures popping in and out. That's like a pet peeve of mine. Um, but I mean, you got to do what you got to do, um, when you're trying to maximize performance and especially flying an F-35 very fast, the textures are going to pop in. So you can see here, you can see here, the textures are popping in. We're flying very fast. Granted, when you're flying a slower aircraft, um, they're gonna pop in um, again, but flying a faster aircraft, they're gonna pop in even faster. So we're over New York. Um, I'm gonna switch the target FPS to 45 and see what it does. It's gonna allow for um, higher higher uh, LOD than what it is right now. Okay, we're flying over New York. I'm going to pan a little bit here. Okay, there's no stutters, which is nice. But they're low textures. Low textures, you know. Um, granted, I am recording, so that might be part of it. I haven't tried this. Um, yet with, without when I wasn't recording so I'm just doing this now just to make a quick video if you guys are interested any of you that play uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator 4k so it doesn't look good so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch it to 45 and see what happens now we're at 45 target FPS is 45 so that's what we're targeting So we've created a buffer. We've created, we've created a bigger buffer for this uh, program to allow for higher textures and LOD. So it's giving us a it's giving us a bigger uh, threshold instead of 65. We're now targeting 45. So textures are still popping in. Um, let's go ahead and do a pan. faster pan okay now we're gonna use my mouse and really pan okay not too bad I'm not getting a lot of stutters just very very small micro stutters I'm not getting those big one to two second stutters that I had before 
But you can see the potato buildings down there. It's not very high res. Still low res. But then again, like when you when you're let's come in for JFK. And this is a very good scenery for JFK. I think any builds. We're at 10 minutes now. All right, we're coming in to JFK. All right, coming in real fast. A little bit of stutters. Then again, I don't know what it's like uh, coming in with the airliner, coming in a lot slower. But yeah, there's a lot of popping in of textures. Um, yeah, LOD is changing a little bit. We've slowed down here a little bit. I don't know if I like it. I want to give it a try. Uh, it has it has reduced my stutters. But you're sacrificing quality uh, for performance. And you got random textures popping out. I don't know what that is. Come over here, fly over the main terminal. And again, I am recording in 4K. I just wanted to see uh, how it would handle. I think it's going to perform a lot better when I'm not recording. But the ground textures are terrible. I don't know why. The ground textures are very blurry. And there's just a little bit of stuttering. So I think that's just because I'm recording. I could be wrong though. I think I'd still get the stutters if I'm not recording. We'll see though. The ground textures are just awful though right now. I mean they are low resolution. All right, I'm gonna climb up here and see what happens. But I don't know. I really don't know. Um, I don't know. I wasn't a fan of these third-party applications, but this one seemed a little bit of a promise that it would help. Okay. Yeah. Here's the program. Um, when I've clicked outside the program or Microsoft Flight Simulator, my FPS drops to 39. When I click back in the program, it goes up to like 70 again. Um, but I'm not sure. I'm going to keep messing around with this and see what happens. But... I'm not sure. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Uh, what your thoughts are. I'll share my settings um, right now with you guys.
All right. Full screen resolution 3840 2160. Anti aliasing DLSS super resolution. DLSS to ultra quality frame generation on. AMD sharpening 100. V sync off, but I do have that on. And NVIDIA control panel, I'll show you those settings as well. DirectX DX12 beta. Uh, level of detail 400. Pre cache ultra, vector data ultra. Everything ultra here. Uh, except for clouds, I have set to medium. Texture resolution ultra. Uh, Anisotropic filtering is off. Texture super sampling is six by six. Which I could probably switch that to eight by eight. Texture synthesis ultra water waves high shadow maps 1536 terrain shadows 1024 contact shadows ultra windshield effects ultra ambient occlusion ultra cubic reflections 256 ray mark high light shafts high bloom on depth of field motion blur lens control uh, lens correction is off lens flare on glass cockpit refresh rate set to medium traffic off um here's my traffic settings data everything is on turn multiplayer off uh which i have off um when i when i go fly but i just turn that off anyway um unlimited data consumption flight model modern and that's about it I'll show you my NVIDIA control panel settings. All right, let me zoom in here for you. All right. Uh, image scaling off, ambient occlusion not supported for this application. Anti Anisotropic filtering 16x. Um, default, 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 low latency mode, ultra max frame rates, 140. I've been messing with this. Uh, I find if I have this, cause my, my monitor is 144. So I find watching different videos and such, you're supposed to set this to half your refresh rate for the frame generation, but I don't, I find it doesn't really matter. Monitor technology, G-Sync, uh, prefer maximum performance, uh, texture filtering on, LOD bias, allow texture filtering quality, high performance. Maybe I should set that to quality. I don't know. Like, like I said, I'm still messing around with these settings. Uh, Trilinear optimization on, thread optimization, optimization on, triple buffering on, vertical sync on. And that's it. Um, so I don't know. Um, I'm still messing around with a lot of these settings. Um, but if you got any tips for me, let me know. Because uh, I'm trying to improve my performance as much as possible.